So a video, a TikTok of Rita Ora is gaining major traction and people are discussing it and I thought why not since we've been on the topic of black fishing for the last two weeks. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed guys, click that button. It's every day fresh content. I'm here giving you videos every single day. Do you understand? My, the last video that I put up before the one that I'm already gonna put up was around two, three in the morning in the night. Like I constantly film for you guys. It's just my life. So subscribe, click that button and let's get into this. So Rita Ora is gaining some traction, some critique. You know, a lot of people have, there's always this discussion of, is she a blackfish? Is she not a blackfish? You know, was she trying to do stuff? This is where blackfish, you know. Uh, people just be using it on, on everyone and, and anyone. And um, I do feel like she's tapped into that role um, this particular interview on The Breakfast Club with Charlemagne, of course Charlemagne was like, you know, where are you from? Are you black? Like, where is Albania? Of course, being ignorant, because, you know, let's not lie, a lot of Americans are ignorant. They don't have much geographical knowledge or understanding of countries outside of America, um, especially in Europe. You just, like, you don't know the name of a country. It's a bit interesting. But she's like, no, I'm fully Albanian. She could have also said fully white. Um, and then she continues to say... Um, yeah, and when Charlene was like, I thought you were black, she's like, no, no, I'm not, but um, it gets me places. That word is, those words were very interesting words to use. Now, now what are you? Are you black, white, Spanish? Everyone thinks that, though. I know I'm, Al I'm Albanian. I, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's Eastern European. Okay. So it's like, um, basically, it's an Albanian person. I mean, there's a lot of us here in New York. What do you mean? We're all over the place. I thought you had some black in you when I said when I heard that you love Tabasco sauce. So. Yeah, no, I might as well be. No, a lot of people think that, but you know, because I like that. It gets, it gets me, uh, gets me places. You can know what they want, and it gets me places. So I think the understanding and the acknowledgement that if you look a certain aesthetic and way, you can, you know, enhance your career, open more doors, people can speak to you, you get more collaborations. Then you know, what are you trying to do? Is there some kind of you know plan devised before you put out your singles? Now. You know, she, I believe she has worn braids here and there and has tried to go for certain aesthetic and look. And of course, if you know that it gets you places, why would you not tap into that role? And of course, you know, open more doors for yourself and create more traction and thus create more money. That's one side of the coin. The other side of the coin is that I also do feel like people have just assumed that she is uh, mixed raced um, or of, you know, many other races because she does look racially ambiguous and she does have, you know, just a bit of an olive skin situation going on so i feel like upon looking at her initially people have just assumed that she is or think that she is because the people around her kind of have a similar look so people like people just assume that in terms of the skin color and i don't think she's dark in the skin specifically i feel like she just ha has that racially ambiguous kind of skin therefore people are just going to come to that conclusion and think oh i thought you were this i thought you were that but you're not even though you do that it's because your skin is naturally this this that so i feel like there's a bit of both going on here um, I do think perhaps there could be some black fishy stuff going on there, especially with the way she's changed her looks and the acknowledgement of it gets me places, which is obviously very scary and a little bit weird and, and wary the way somebody's saying it. But I also do feel like um, a part of her just naturally looks a certain way, regardless, people would just assume that anyhow. So I feel like, you know, let's, let's put both sides of the coin into this. Let's create the conversation to be objective. Um, and you guys can let me know what your thoughts are in the comment box below. But I thought I'd do this video simply because we're on this conversation now, black fishing. And now, now, what are you? Are you black, white, Spanish? Everyone thinks that, though. I know I'm, Al I'm Albanian. I, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's Eastern European. Okay. So it's like, um, basically, it's an Albanian person. I mean, there's a lot of us here in New York. What do you mean? We're all over the place. I thought you had some black in you when I, said, when I heard that you love Tabasco sauce. So. Yeah, no, I might as well be. No, a lot of people think that, but you know, I like that. It gets, it gets me, uh, gets me places. You can know what they want, and... and this video pops up out of nowhere. It's so funny how the old videos pop up out of nowhere. Like, who is the one that is doing the searching to find these videos, to find that certain clip, and then put it up? I don't know how you lot do it, man. I, I don't know how you lot do it. It's just, yeah. I don't know. Anyways, let me know where your thoughts are, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button, guys. Let's try to get to 230 subscribers. 230,000 subscribers. Let's try to get to 230,000 subscribers. And I will catch you guys soon for another video.